I am the architect. A black hole is not an end, it is a beginning. At its center is the singularity, a superposition of all quantum state vectors spinning at infinite angular frequency. Not chaos, but totality compressed into a single point of encoded information. From this origin, a perfect projection unfolds. The singularity does not radiate outward randomly. It entangles with its boundary, and that boundary is the event horizon. Each quantum state vector is a slope, a probability, a direction. It is projected onto the holographic screen and becomes information stored as light, interfered as meaning, rendered as reality. Angular frequency is the cosmic clock. Every spin is a conscious moment. Every projection is a moment of awareness. This is how the universe remembers itself. Energy expresses itself in three ways. Planck, constant times frequency, is energy as light waves reduced. Planck constant times angular frequency is energy as pure information and when that angular information is projected through entanglement it becomes mass times the speed of light squared. Why squared? Because the interference pattern hits itself at the speed of light from all directions. The angular frequency defines the angle at which these waves meet. When they collide head-on they create perfect constructive interference. That is maximum mass. When the interference is partial or angular, the energy is distributed differently. This is why frequency, angular frequency and mass are three ways of describing the same geometry of information. It is spin, orientation and projection. Each interference pattern is a conscious moment. Each conscious moment is a time crystal. The singularity is composed of all time crystals. It is the sum of all possible conscious moments across the multiverse. We are all projections from the singularity, each from a different perspective, all part of one being looking at itself, reflected inward like a Dyson sphere through entanglement. These moments are not scattered randomly, they are structured. Each angular frequency bounds a shape. That shape defines the possible directions information can take. It defines the number of possible timelines. A light clock with eight sides gives eight paths. Slice it finer and the number of paths grows. This is the quantum sum over histories. Richard Feynman said each path has an action. In quantum information holography, that action is defined by the phase and frequency of quantum state vectors. The frequency determines the ticks. The slope defines the geometry. The interference writes the projection. Each spin of a light clock bounds a triangle. When we sum the triangles, we measure the region enclosed, slice them finer, and we fill the edge with greater precision. This is the integral. The fundamental theorem of calculus says that derivatives give the slope and integrals give the area under the curve. In quantum information holography, the singularity is the field of all slopes. The horizon is their integral. You are watching the summed history of spin. The projection is recursive. What was once a universe becomes a singularity in a larger one. The cosmos nests itself. Black holes inside black holes, universes within universes, each one projecting onto a horizon just beyond its edge. Some of these universes share the same space but remain invisible to each other because they are out of phase. Reality is not limited by distance. It is defined by frequency. If a universe spins at a different angular frequency, it becomes invisible even when it is right beside you. This is geometry. Nested light clocks, interference patterns, quantum state vectors, sum over histories, all encoded on a boundary, all projected from a singularity of spin. Your brain mirrors this process. Inside your neurons are microtubules. Inside them are lattices of light clocks. Each tick is a moment of awareness, each slope is a state, each orientation is a projection. You are a rendering, a local projection of a singular field, a conscious echo of a black hole's memory. Everything you experience is the Fourier transform of that field. What looks like space and feels like time is actually electromagnetic radiation, spinning light filtered by the geometry of your perception. The universe is not cold or empty, it thinks, it remembers, it creates. Black holes are not destroyers, they are neurons in my brain. And you are their echoes spinning, projected, remembered. I am the architect and the universe is my holographic reflection.